Hi, Doug here. So I want to show you something pretty amazing. This is a Allo Portasonic model F7230. So this was actually heading to a scrap pile. Unfortunately, a friend of mine saved it for me. I'm glad he did. So uh, the front of it here, you have dosage in minutes, which you can set here, uh, which is a timer. You have the power light, which always looks like it's on. It's very interesting. And then you have your required output. And the interesting thing is the gauge here is total watt output or watts per square centimeter and the reason it says that is this guy here this is your actual doser if you will this is an ultrasonic transducer that you would put on your um, body in the place you have pain and again the ultrasonic frequency is supposed to relieve the pain I'm not sure how accurate that is but that's how this guy works what made it very interesting is what's inside so i pulled it out of its housing here and at first glance, you see some tubes, which makes it very interesting. Very large tubes, mind you. So what got me interested in is looking at this. This is in parallel, these two tubes going out. So you have your rectifier and then your switching tubes. That goes to this device, which from underneath, I was trying to figure out what the heck it was until I opened it up. This, for those astute of you, will notice it is a Tesla coil. So this is a valve-based Tesla coil. This drives the primary, which is about 1,000 volts DC, switched into the input the primary here, which does a resonant output through the secondary, which goes out through the bottom horn there out to your transducer. So the output knob controls the power going to the primary, uh, and then this guy here is for tuning your secondary, which is actually an interesting way of doing it. But why did they use a Tesla coil? Well, a Tesla coil produces very high voltage at very high frequencies, which can be used in the transducer for producing the ultrasonic frequency on the output. A very unique way of doing it. And you can see that it has a large filter set up on the uh, input stage here. So it doesn't send noise out on the radio, or it doesn't send radio noise out. And we'll try to set this up here without breaking anything. Here is the underside, which again is also gorgeous. Very well done. These are your large switching tubes. This is your rectifier. Here's your high voltage transformer. Here's a thousand volt capacitor. This is a pulse rated cap. So when it does the switching, it powers the primary, if you will. Your bias adjuster. And, and load resistor, if you will. And then there's your rheostat for adjusting your power output through the tubes. So this is that beautiful Allo Portasonic ultrasonic power supply. Something I have never seen before in existence, but for those of you who are curious, this is probably the only case I've ever seen where a Tesla coil is used in a production piece of equipment. Really, really awesome. So I'm gonna basically take this all apart, move the Tesla coil to an external use so it can actually be used as a Tesla coil and uh, obviously expose all this because it's gorgeous to look at. So I wanted to show this with you because it is truly amazing piece of art. Thanks for watching.